Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna show you how to make over 120 bucks an hour doing just a simple, easy little project. As always guys, make sure to hit that little like and subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we get new videos coming out. We're doing them all the time and we got some really awesome stuff coming up that you guys don't wanna miss. All right guys, so what we're doing today is we are actually using our new vertical puppy love stencil. The only bit we're using is the 90 degree bit. So it's super limited on the supplies that you need to have to do this. Now there's a few different ways to look at selling your signs and selling your projects. A lot of people like to go for the big several thousand dollar signs, really fancy and all that stuff, and that's great. But one thing I like to do is I like to make a lot of small signs that anybody can buy for 20 bucks. And that's what we're figuring this sign will sell for. That's a little bit conservative, I think. I think we can get 25 or 30, but just for the sake of argument, we'll say you can sell these for 20 bucks. So here's how we're gonna do it. Dad's gonna start the countdown at one hour. At the exact same time, I'm gonna start laying out. The boards are already pre-cut because I always cut my boards ahead of time. These are four by 14 inch boards. And like I said, you should have no problem selling these for 20 bucks a piece, no matter where you're at. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the materials we use today. Let's start the race. In our opinion, the absolute best way to do a large batch of signs is to do one step at a time on each sign. So like for instance, here I'm laying all the signs out first. Now, even if you have multiple bits that you're using, the profile, the carving line or whatever, do all the profile work first, then all the carving line or work first, or whatever step you wanna go in. But I like to make sure to do everything with one step at a time on all the different signs. Now for the first sign, I actually used the 60 degree bit, but that didn't work quite as well. It didn't take out as much as the 90 degree. So dad suggested I switch to the 90 degree bit and that actually worked really, really well. The 60 degree is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but as you can see, I was racing the clock here. So my biggest issue was getting these done as fast as I can, making them look good and getting them ready to sell. Now, just like any time you're working with wood, some boards are gonna be a little bit easier to work with than others. There was one particular board, it might've been this one, but I can't remember, that was a lot grainier than the other one. So I had to take a little bit more time on it. One issue that I struggle with personally is sometimes I try to go too fast and my work suffers because of it. Now, this is a little bit of a different situation because I'm racing the clock here, but when you're doing woodwork and you want to sell stuff, you want to give the customer the best product you possibly can. There's just no way around that. You want to make sure that you give them a good value for their money. So time isn't near as important as quality. One thing you want to keep in mind is you want to get as much prep work done ahead of time as possible. And this goes double if you're selling on site. If you're carving and selling at the same time, you want to eliminate as much of the work as possible. So normally what I do is I have all my edges done and sprayed as well. Now, I still leave the chamfer shallow enough that if somebody wants a scallop, we can do a scallop, or if they want a rustic edge, it'll still look good. All I gotta do is take the grinder and chew up the edge a little bit. But remember, prep is key. You wanna make sure to get as much work done ahead of time as humanly possible. This is where the disc sander comes in super handy. That thing takes off so much wood and it really sands fast. And even with a 120 or if you wanna go with a 220, it still gives a super smooth finish and you don't have to take as much time as you do with a random orbital.
Now for the sake of this video, we stopped the time after each sign had one code on it. But when I'm doing a sign for somebody where time isn't an issue, normally I'll put five to eight coats on depending on if it's going outside or how harsh the weather is wherever it's going. But for this, it was just one. And we got it done with 10 minutes left. So guys, using this stencil was a huge part of it because laying all six of these out took me just over three minutes. Now, you could sell these for 20 bucks a piece no matter where you're at, in my opinion. I'm gonna probably sell my wife one for 40, cause she'll pay it. The pet industry is huge. In fact, even if you're not carving on site or not selling online, you could find a local pet store and you, make, you can make these cheap enough to where they have room to mark up. There's a lot of business ideas, a lot of different things you can do and you don't have to be super duper fast. The reason dad didn't do this is because he's got so much more experience than I do so I figured I should probably do it because I'm not quite as good as him. What was that? Yeah. I didn't catch that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh... So guys, even if you're new to carving, the more you do it, the faster you're gonna get at it and the better you're gonna get at it. So I hope you guys like this. I hope this was helpful. If you want us to do more stuff like this, leave a comment, let us know what you guys thought. I will leave a link in the description below for all the stuff we used today. If you have any questions, you can email me, ryan at makeawoodsign.com. We'll see you guys on the next one.